Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel on the art of alopecia. Welcome back and for those who don't know me, my name is Marcy and I have an autoimmune condition called alopecia universalis. Basically my immune system mistakenly attacks my hair follicles to make everything fall out. So I am completely bald and balding throughout my body including my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And in March of 2020, during the first quarantine of COVID-19, I decided to open up my own Instagram page called The Art of Alopecia, a more alopecia-focused Instagram page, in order to continue raising awareness for this disease, you know, shed some light on it, you know, promote um, self-love, body positivity, and you know, accepting who you are within your own skin. And I thought that I would continue raising awareness and doing all these great things and bringing it onto YouTube in order to reach a lot more people and help any way that I can. And if for those who are curious about my Instagram page, I do a lot of fun stuff there, so you can go check it out. You can find me on The Art of Alopecia. So on this YouTube video, this is my second video. The first one I shared my entire alopecia story, meaning from the moment I was diagnosed to present day. So if you are interested in learning more about me and my story, then definitely go check that out. For today, I am going to be doing my very first wig review on this YouTube channel, which is going to be a human hair piece from the company Uni Wigs. They have kindly gifted me the wig Christie um, to show off to you guys today, which I'm super excited about. So if you are interested in learning more about Uni Wigs as a company or seeing this gorgeous wig, then continue watching. Now I have already taken a quick peek at the Christie wig and it is quite dark, a lot darker than I would normally wear um, in my wigs just because I am so fair and I look like Casper the Ghost for the most part, most of the time look like Casper, um, just the skin that I was born with. So I decided to do a little bit more of a bolder makeup look to kind of settle in um, and make things look a tad better. Hopefully it works out. But this is the box. Um, all their human hair wigs come in a white box and their synthetics um, come in a black box. But I love the white boxes. They're so classy with the rose gold. Very beautiful, very chic. Inside the box, unfortunately you can tell that it didn't quite make the travel um, in great condition. Unfortunately, a lot of my boxes from Uni Wigs do get damaged, so I wish they were a little bit sturdier, just because um, wig boxes are great for storage and to keep your wigs nice and organized. But inside um, comes with a little bit of um, tissue paper, which is a cute little touch. And inside all of the human hair, um, boxes. It comes with a cute little drawstring bag with some beautiful embroidery uni wigs and it's a great comfortable material. Great for traveling and also for storage so that's a cute little touch. And in every box that comes with a uni wigs guide, um, this is your best friend if you are new to wig wearing. Um, this tells you all the information that you need to know, know how to style it, if you can put heat on it, you know their return exchange policy, how to wash them. So always a great thing to keep when you get a uni wigs. And then they come with a wig cap, which is always great. I don't usually wear wig caps just because I have no hair to keep under. <laughs> Cute little card. And then also, I asked for the wig cap um, to come without clips, just because I don't have any hair to clip on. But they did come with um, some additional clips. If I were to grow my hair back and continue wearing the wig, this would be a great thing to sew in. And also, um, comes with this band. So this band is, you can sew it in and it goes at the back of the wig and basically it's just an extra layer of security um, which is great so if I find that this wig is too big or I just want you know a bit more security then I would sew this in and then it just um, stays at the back of your head my Nuella wig has one of these and it's great now on to the actual wig and the specifics of the wig so I just have my laptop in front of me and it will give me all the information that you need to know about this wig. So I'm just gonna unwrap it in its wrapping. All right, so as I said, this is Christy. Um, she is a shoulder length natural wave and hand tied human hair 
wig um, with a mono top, which is super great. I know I just said a lot of information, but I promise I'll break it down for you. She is 15.5 inches long, which I think is the perfect length. Mono top, fully hand tied. I love hand tied wigs just because they are a lot more comfortable and they tend to last a lot longer. Um, so this is the mono top, very breathable, very comfortable, and hand tied. Um, the cap size is 21.75 inches. I think that's the circum circumference of your head. I asked it to be made a little bit smaller just because my head is tiny, um, so hopefully it fits right. And the density is 120%. Obviously has bangs that I'm going to have to cut eventually just because they will be too long, but for this video I will just um, blow dry them um, so that they can be raised a little bit and it can give you an idea of what it actually looks like. So. Let's get started. I'm just gonna put my mirror in front of me so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. I'm going to quickly um, put some water on this in order to style it, so be right back. Okay, so let's put the wig on and style the bangs. I have already adjusted it accordingly, and let's see if this fits. So it fits perfectly, but these bangs need a little bit of help. So I'm just going to wet it a little bit. And then with my blow dryer, just going to quickly lift them. Here she is, guys. The natural lighting went away, which I'm so sad about, but I hope you can see how pretty this color is. It is a dark brown, um, but there are some light brown stripes in it, which is gorgeous. So on to the review. So the first thing that I noticed about this wig was how comfortable the cap is. There is really soft material surrounding the wig to prevent your head from getting itchy. And as I said before, when your wig is hand tied, it definitely adds another layer of comfortability. I feel like with those machine made wigs, it can get quite itchy and quite irritating. And the second thing that I noticed off the bat was how soft it is. I cannot stop touching the wig. It is made with high quality and I know that it will last me a long time just by the feel of it. And these natural waves, I am so excited about. I have never gotten or received a wig with natural waves inside. I think it is such a great change and I think everyone should have one of these because it just makes your hair look perfect and you know how you see someone on the street with beautiful waves and you're like, oh I wish I had that hair and now I do have that hair. And the bangs will definitely have to be cut a little shorter, but we're under lockdown where I am, so it will be a little bit um, before I can see a stylist or a hairdresser to get them trimmed. But using the round brush with the water and the blow dryer is a great way and a great tip if you wanted to fluff up your bangs or give them a nice little curve. I was just in the process of editing this video and I forgot to mention something, so I thought I would just pop on here and add this in. Excuse me. I am wearing my comfy pajamas, um, but I just wanted to emphasize how realistic this wig is and how natural it looks. The parting makes it look like this hair is growing out of my scalp and I feel like the bangs always adds just an extra of realism. You would never be able to tell that I am wearing a wig. If I was walking on the street, no one would be able to tell and I feel like that's what you want, right? When you're wearing a wig, you don't want people to stare at you because, you know, it looks so wiggy. The thing that I quickly wanted to mention before we wrap things up was that I noticed later on that there was a little bit of a bald spot um, on the left hand side that 
isn't necessarily on the right. Um, this just means that the person who made the wig forgot to add a bit more hair over there. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Um, you can cover it up with eyeshadow, and I'm sure this won't happen to all of the wigs. I've never had this happen with uni wigs. So just something that I was a little disappointed in and something that if this does happen to you, then I would definitely recommend contacting customer service. You know, when you are paying for such an expensive thing, um, you do want to receive something fully tied in with a bunch of hair to your liking. So that's just something that I wanted to add. But again, this won't happen to everyone, just something that I noticed on mine. The cap size fits perfectly. I barely have to do any of the adjustment straps because it naturally fits perfectly on my head. So I would highly recommend if you are planning on purchasing a uni wigs, contact customer service, tell them the wig that you're interested in buying and arrange what size you want um, the cap construction to be because the, you are able to do that. If you do have a smaller head and not so much an average size head, then they can make it smaller for you, which is great. And that's exactly what I did. And if you don't have, have hair like me, then you don't have to get the clips inside, which is another bonus. The only con to this wig um, is that it is too dark for my skin. I tried to work it out and I definitely think it's such a gorgeous wig. It just doesn't look, um, it doesn't suit me in my opinion. I think I will definitely continue wearing it on my off days to give my wigs a break or if I'm doing like a costume or if I'm dressing up as Snow White or something. Um, but it is a beautiful, beautiful wig. So at first I thought it was going to be way too dark. I saw it, I'm like way, way too dark for my complexion. But after wearing this all day, I am starting to kind of love it. I think it just takes a little bit of time um, to adjust to something that you're not necessarily used to. And I do have darker wigs, um, but nothing um, that's close to like a dark brown black. Um, but I think it is growing on me and every time I look in the mirror and I look at myself. Obviously I look like someone that I've never looked like before, but I think it's growing on me and I'm okay with that. I think dark does suit me. I have completely lost the natural lighting, which is so sad, but maybe you can see now how dark it is. Um, but when you do have skin like mine, there is a little bit of danger if you were to go too light or too dark. Too light, for example, you know, it would really wash out your skin, and too dark, I think it would really take away from your skin, um, but it would bring out your eyes, I would think. Ultimately, I think this is such a stunning wig. 10 out of 10, it's beautiful, it's soft, high quality, and I would highly recommend uni wigs to anyone who's looking for a good quality wig or a fun synthetic because they've got lots of those as well. Um, but this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review, and again, go check out uni wigs at uniwigs.com and all of their Instagram pages that I will list down below. I um, will also link the page for this wig if you are interested in buying the Christie. But again, if you have any questions, um, you can always DM me on Instagram or shoot me a comment. Once again, thank you so much Uni Wigs for kindly gifting me the Christie wig. If you guys enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, tell you all your friends about it and be sure to subscribe to join in on this fun journey of mine. So that is it for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!